everybody, Joey Lagasse here with Gluten-Free Living and we're giving you a slice of gluten-free life today. Today we're going to be doing something that's very requested in our household, riste e biste. So it's a pea risotto. It's super easy to do, very comforting. You can have it as a side dish, you can have it as a whole meal if you wanted. It would go with anything amazingly well. I want to take the hard work out of risotto. When I tell people you're going to make risotto at home, they're very fearful. They think it's a ton of steps and a lot of work and that they're going to overcook the rice. Just come with me today and let me show you how to make an amazing risotto, 25 minutes and you're good. So come on and let's get cooking. All right, so in the pan we have the oil, the garlic, the peas and carrots over a nice medium heat. You're just giving that a minute or two to kind of warm up a bit together. Now you're going to go in with your rice. A heaped cup of borio rice, risotto rice, and you're going to take the minute to really incorporate the oil and the garlic, everything, with the rice. You're almost like toasting the rice. This is actually a really important step, so you want to be sure you're doing this. Again, my heat's like a medium. All right, so once you give that a nice little minute, that looks good. You just want all of those bits of rice to have a bit of oil on there. Okay, now for the fun part. We're gonna add in some stock. The stock is over here on a low simmer. Okay, so it's nice and hot. I'm gonna add probably two ladles the first time. And you're gonna do this in four steps, four phases, a little bit more. Okay, you're gonna do this in, in four phases to really incorporate the stock in batches. That is the secret. Going nice, slow, and steady, and adding the stock, and you're gonna stir and continually stir until all of that first batch of stock is absorbed. So we're gonna just be stirring and letting this get nice and cooked through, and then we're gonna continue this three to four times till all of our stock is absorbed. Okay guys, look how gorgeous this is. It's been about 20, almost 25 minutes to the tea. Um, and we've got all the stock in batches cooked in. So now we're just gonna finish this baby off. So you can see it's nice and creamy. If you're vegan, Okay, you could use vegetable stock in this and just skip the part with the cheese. It's still absolutely delicious right now. But we're gonna just go ahead and do a nice bit of salt. I'm using Himalayan pink sea salt, but do it is. You won't. And lots and lots of freshly cracked black pepper. My daughter loves a lot of pepper, so we go pretty hard on that. Okay, and at this point, you're gonna turn off your heat. Okay, and then you're going to now add the grated parm. That's a good bit, guys. And now with the heat off, you're going to just slowly incorporate that cheese. And you'll see it turn to like creamy, incredible deliciousness before your eyes. It's like a magic trick. There is so no magic trick of... If you didn't think it could get any more delicious looking, look at that. So that's it. Can you see all that delicious cheese melting? Mm. Okay, so we're ready to plate this baby up and dig on in. This is my risotto. Super, super simple spring pea and carrot risotto. You guys cannot get any more simple or any more delicious. I hope you make this immediately at home. Okay, guys, this is it. The amazingly easy, delicious pea and carrot spring risotto. And like I said, you could serve this as a side dish with pretty much anything and everyone will love it. Look at all that cheesy goodness. Ugh. You can see why this is one of my daughter's most favorite things ever. Very comforting, really quick to make, 25 minutes, and you can use any vegetable you like. Try mushrooms, try zucchini, try anything that you want. Asparagus, um, 
It's great. It's an easy, fantastic dish. I hope that you try this for a slice of gluten-free life. Thanks so much for watching.